Hi everyone, in this video series I explain the commissioning of a Festo motor controller CMMP ASM3 together with a Siemens CPU S7-1200 using TIA Portal V17. Hello and welcome back. This is Gerd Zeller from Zeller Press Control Systems and in order to do the commissioning for the CMPP you first need to download the Festo commissioning tool which I have shown right here. Festo configuration tool, excuse me. And this you can find in the Festo internet site if you choose any controller you can go down to the downloads and choose software and then you will find the commissioning tool in this section right here and then you can choose the download and once it's downloaded you can just go ahead and install it in the ordinary fashion of windows the same will be for the Siemens side. You will need the Start Drive Advanced V17 Update ISO, Update 1 ISO, which is shown right here. Also, download this and install it in Windows, and then you're off to go. All right, once your programs are installed, you can open the the VC the FCT the Festo configuration tool and make a new project. Give it a name. And then just click OK. And click OK again. Um, sorry, you need to here you need to choose your CMMP AS and give this a name again. My project, for example. Go ahead, push OK. And then at first you need to create a new drive configuration, which is accordingly to your hardware components. I have a CMMP AS M3 with the, I think it's the 10 amp, 11 amp controller, right? Nothing in the extension slot one and the extension slot two includes the Profinet board and I have a safety module STO. Click next and then choose which motor you will use. Mm, in this case, it's Festo with axis. And then here, same thing, select your motor that you're using. Cable lengths you can choose right here. The gearbox type, in my case it's no gearbox on the motor. And then it's a rotary use defined axis. Here you choose to your needs which you which uh, components you're using. <clears throat> in my case it's a rotary axis with unlimited uh, refs and it's an external gearbox mounted to the motor with the gear ratio of 3 to 1. And then accept this in this section right here. Push next. Push finish. And then you can see your setup right here that you have configured. So 
once it's recalculating all the things you can um, configure your online um, interface you can choose between ethernet or usb there is a usb connector also on the cmmp i use the ethernet then go ahead and push scan right here it's scanning all the components it, i found one component make a right click go to network and then in this section right here you give the um, configuration only for the online interface when you want to go online to the cmmp so push ok and that's it as the next step you want to go to the field bus configuration and then here in this section right here in the middle you can give the cmmp the ip address for the profi network that you are using cmmp is address 20 subnet 255 255 255 0 and you don't really need a gateway And then you're all set with that. Once you got that done, you should be able to go online. That's up here in this section. So I already have downloaded a configuration which I just override right now. Now it's downloading and once it's downloaded you are all set to go. There you go, connection established. You want to store this to the drive. And then you can see the operation um, right here in this section down here. You can see this online connection. Let's see what happens if we Acknowledge the fault. Wrong response telegram. All right, there you go. Wants to restart the controller in order to reset the fault, and then you can operate the controller from this section right here, which I will show you later on. So this is the part for the CMMP, and now we will go over to the TR portal to the S7 part, and here we will create a new project which is called tutorial cmmp create And then you can go over to the portal view, which makes it easier to create a new device, add a new device. In my case, it is a Siemens S7 1200. Mm, I think it should be this one right here. Mm. Add. 
Here you have the different options. I will just not use them at all. For your safety protection, finish. And here you are in your device configuration. So then you go over two devices and networks. Go to the network view. And then you should be able to find the controller for the Festo right here on the left side. Should be this one right here. Just drag this over and drop it in your window. Connect the Pro-V net selection and there you go. Next step is you assign an IP address to the CPU, which will be Ethernet address right here in this section down here, 30, in my case it is the 30.2. Click OK, go back to the network configuration, do the same thing with the Festo CMMP, Ethernet address, and in my case it will be the address which is shown actually right here in this IP address configuration on the CMMP. The 20 should be able to go and make a right click on your CPU, compile hardware and software own or hardware rebuild all. It should be without a fault. There we go. And make a right click again, download to device hardware configuration. Then in this pop-up window, you will choose your I, your Ethernet selection. Where do you want to connect to the CPU? Show all compatible devices and start search. And load after the device is found. Load the configuration to the to the CPU. Finish and then go back to your network view. And if you go online, if I made everything right, you should see the connection from the CPU to the CMMP. You see the green check mark on the CPU and the CMMP. That means the connection is established and we're all set for this. And in the next video, I will show you how to set up communication in the logic of the CPU. Thank you for watching this video about the commissioning for my CMMP Festo drive with a Siemens PLC S7-1200. Thank you and bye bye.